guys welcome back okay so today i just want to play in some new goodies that i got some i got out of my boxy charm some i purchased some i ordered a long time ago and finally showed up and since you know everybody's kind of like stuck in the house on quarantine i figure best time to just play in some makeup right so that's what i'm gonna do um i want to play around with this hello charmer eyeshadow palette that i got in my boxy charm i didn't even unbox my boxy charms this month i wasn't really feeling it for some reason i mean i got the whole fenty box because i do have the what is it the premium so i got the whole fenty box which half of those products i already own so i'm gonna have to give away a lot of stuff out of that box but in my Lux box i believe i did get the boxy charm palette and i also got the tarte pro remix palette which i already have that as well so that's going to be a giveaway too so yeah i wasn't really feeling the box this month you know a couple of bum bum creams a lipstick yada yada but i felt like this eyeshadow palette was something that i really wanted to play with so if you haven't seen it already this is what the boxy charm eyeshadow palette looks like I think the shadows in here are actually quite pretty and I'm really curious about the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this puppy so I can kind of figure out what to do with my eyes and then create a look. So these are all the colors from the palette I mean some very pretty sparkly shades in here I must say I do wish there was a shadow that was just a hint darker you know like a dark brown or gray or dark or black even you know just so you have the option to deepen up an eye look but I can't say it's my favorite combination of colors but I really do like the glitters and shimmers and sparkliness of it so we'll see what we can do now I do have a few other things that I want to play around with today at some point. I did finally get my Uma Beauty Black Magic Carnival Lipstick. This is the one that got back ordered from my kit that I um, bought, the Jackie Ina kit. And so this is what the packaging looks like. Really, really pretty. And let me show you what my lipstick looks like. Oh, this is gorgeous that is really really pretty so somehow with this eye look <laughs> i want to try out this lipstick i also picked up a new mascara to try because i want to try something different this is the covergirl super sizer mascara it comes in this cute little turquoise tube and this one it has like the nice hard prickly plastic teeth that i like but they're kind of small, so I'm not sure how this is going to fare for me, but we'll find out. And I also purchased these. I purchased these like back around, um, you know, the holiday shopping season and stuff back in December. These are some of the Focalore um, bronzer or blush duos. They're basically copying the cover effects duos so i did pick up three of these to try out so so as you can see they basically look a lot like the cover effects blush duo packaging it looks like a bar of soap and the inside is very very similar <laughs> as you can see so i do want to try out um i don't know this one is kind of like the bronzing and highlighting one that i picked which is 05. This one is 04, which is kind of like the peachy color. Very, very pretty. And lastly, I picked 06, which is this gorgeous kind of like fuchsia color. Oh my gosh, that one is gorgeous. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to use my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer, and then we'll come back and jump into this BoxyCharm palette. Okay, so since there's a limited variety of mattes for me to choose from, there's basically this shade here, 
this shade here this shade here this shade here this one here so yeah very limited I think I'm gonna go into this shade here why because you guys know I love color so let me go ahead and pop that in my crease So that color is pretty and it's actually fairly decent I've gone in the pan maybe about two or three times just to build it up but I am just gently buffing it out I don't want to do anything too elaborate today I'm just curious about these shadows it actually feels nice and soft and has a fairly decent pigmentation to it so okay I'm not mad at it okay you guys so that is the shade unboxing I think I'm going to take a little bit of Cup of Joe mm, and just kind of buff out the upper portion of my lid just to kind of blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to try just a little bit because I don't want this to turn brown. I just want it to have a little bit more of a better fade because I like that red shade. It's pretty. Okay, so I think that's working out fairly well to just kind of create a nice blended fade up into the upper portion of my lid. You can see the difference on this side as opposed to how this side looks. Okay, you guys, so I am really, really drawn to this shade here. On camera, it's like you can't really see it, but it has like a purple, uh, like a purple and blue kind of shift to it. Yeah, it's really pretty. Me looking at it, it looks purple to me. But see, you, yeah, you can kind of see it now. So it looks purple to me, but when you show it like that, it looks turquoise. You see that? Crazy. Very, very pretty though. So I'm going to put that on my lid. That's the shade full size. And this is really like more of a glitter. If you can see that, very pretty. So Lord help me. I should probably use a glitter glue, but... I'm being lazy. Yep, definitely a glitter. It's pretty though. So yeah, I am being extremely lazy with this shadow definitely put down a glitter glue if you use this it's absolutely gorgeous but yeah it is a very very fine glitter I mean as you can see it is sticking with me just spraying my brush and tapping it on so but I know if you use a glitter glue it'll probably last longer throughout the day I'm just being lazy okay now I'm gonna go back into unboxing the really pretty red that I put in my crease and just tap a little bit more of that on the outer corner since I don't really have anything in here to deepen it up. Okay, so I'm not going to be lazy with this one because I do want to play around with this. This is another glitter shade and I want to tap just a little bit of that like in the inner portion of my lid is so so pretty oh my gosh they all kind of like color shift they're gorgeous so I'm just gonna take some of my NYX glitter glue and tap that on first and I just want it in this upper portion right here just so I can see what it looks like okay so let's tap a little bit of this glitter oh that's pretty she's pretty Okay, I definitely didn't know I was going to have green glitter all over my eyes today, but it's pretty. I really think with this palette, BoxyCharm was trying to cater to people who would want just a simple, basic, neutral, everyday look. 
and people like me who <laughs> is like it's carnival okay <laughs> so let me put on some eyeliner and then move on to my face now i know you guys are wondering kk do you have glitter all over your face the answer is yes definitely yes <laughs> now i forgot i do have one more product that i want to try out brand new to me i picked up a sample of the milk makeup and this one is what the hydro grip primer that everybody raves about so i decided to go ahead and pick up a sample to see if i like it before i spend what 30 bucks on the full size okay so i'm gonna try this out today so this is what it looks like Okay, so I definitely like the way this feels on my face. It's actually, to me, not as sticky as the e.l.f. Jelly Dew Primer. I really like the e.l.f. one, but this one, it feels nice as well, but it's not quite as sticky. So, yeah. So far, I like it. We'll see if I still like it after I put my foundation on, though. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little tacky. Okay, I don't have any new foundation and concealer to try, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Milani. This is the Screen Queen foundation, and I have the shade 480, and I'm going to couple that with my Juvia's Place concealer. And in this one, I am the shade 11. Okay, so I am going to try another powder today that I haven't used in probably years. So I wanna try this out again. I was supposed to try this out in my last shop mustache, <laughs> but I did not. I'm going to use some of this airspun powder under my eyes and in my highlighted areas and see what's happening. It looks pretty light. <laughs> oh, Lord help me. It's nice and soft and fine, but yeah, it is very light to me. Mm, it's not my favorite. Not my favorite. Yeah, this powder is very light. It's definitely one where instead of using my damp sponge like I normally do, I probably go in just gently tapping with a light brush or a soft brush. But yeah, it is very light and it's not really giving me that nice smooth blurred out look under my eyes. So I'm gonna have to go over it with my darker powder. So you guys let me know down below if you use this powder in really really like it a lot the scent is not bothering me i know in the past it did bother me but it's not bothering me right now it's not too too bad at all i can deal with it but it's not my favorite okay so i'm gonna go in with some of my Too faced multi-use powder to just kind of set the rest of my face and hopefully tone down this brightness from that powder Okay, so one of these Folklore Sun Kiss um, duos kind of looks like a bronzer to me. This is the shade 05. So I'm going to try and bronze up a bit with this. Y'all pray for me. Okay, I can see it showing up a little bit. So much glitter on my face you guys probably can't see it so I'm gonna do this half of my face and you guys tell me what you think 
Okay, so this is what the bronze side looks like compared to the non-bronzed side. I think it looks nice. I definitely feel like you can see the bronzing, so. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys, I think I went a little ham with the bronzer, but I like it. I do. I like the way it looks. I like it. Wow, that really bronzed me up. I, I'm like shocked right now because at first I was like, oh, I could barely see it, but now I see it and I went ham, okay? So do I want to try the highlighter side? Yeah, let's go ahead and try the highlighter side and then we'll use a different one for blush. Okay, so it's not that blinding type of highlight. It's just like a really soft, kind of like bronzing highlight, I think. Yeah which is not bad, I actually like, it's kind of like that little healthy glow. Yeah, I like that, that's nice. It's not too bold, you could build it up and it just kind of gives you a nice sheen. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, I like that, it's pretty. Yeah, I actually really, really like this because I don't have to really worry so much about overdoing it. Oh, that's so pretty. I mean, I'm just dipping in here and applying and it's just such a nice, light, healthy glow. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, so let's use a different one for blush. Now, do we wanna go kinda peachy or fuchsia? I think I really wanna go with the fuchsia because of my eye look. And this one is 06. This one is 04. Yep, she's pigmented. <laughs> oh, that is very pigmented, okay. Don't go ham like I did, but yes. That is really, really pretty. I like that color. I love this blush. Oh my gosh, the color is so rich and vibrant. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's super pigmented as you can see, honey. Don't go in ham with these Focalore duos, okay? But I love that, it's so pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with some of my Milani Rose Water. This is just their new Prep and Refresh Hydrating Mist, just so I can soak all of that powder into my face before I finish up my eyes. Okay, you guys, so going back to these eyes, since this glitter is pulling a little bit more kind of turquoise, greenish, has that little sea foam thing going. I'm gonna go in with one of my LA Girl Neon Shockwave Liners. This one is kind of like a light teal type blue, so it's really gonna pop on these lower lash lines. Okay, going back into this palette, I'm going back into that red shade here and smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, I was gonna put on some lashes, but since I have this new CoverGirl mascara I wanna try out, I'm just gonna wear my natural lashes today and see how this does on them. I don't really feel like it's doing that much to volumize my lashes, definitely not. I think that even lengthening is very minimal with this mascara. I do like this wand a lot, though it's very easy to use. It's not like super fat and fluffy and, you know, causing clumps or anything. I really like how I'm able to just coat each individual lash. I do like that. But I don't really feel like it's doing that much for my lashes. You guys, um, I'll probably be able to see better 
when I'm editing, you know. But you guys can take a look and compare and tell me what you think as far as this one compared to this one. I mean, it's adding a little something, something. <laughs> but nothing like super major. Okay, so this mascara is not bad, you guys. Like I said, it's not doing the most with my lashes, but I think they look nice. You guys, let me know what you think. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer. So, if you like it, that's what this is. Now, I don't think this lipstick is all that super pigmented from what I remember the picture looking like. It seemed like it was a little bit kind of sheer, but yo, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Very creamy, very comfortable. Yo, I did not think you would be able to see the glitter as much. I don't know why, because there's a gang of glitter on here, but I thought maybe that was just for decorative purposes. But, yo, the glitter in this lipstick, I don't feel, I don't feel glitter or anything at all. It's just nice and creamy and smooth and comfortable, but Y'all see that? <laughs> you can see that. Whoa. Okay. So. And it's like the more I put on, that is the brighter that the shimmer is showing. Yeah. It's pretty. It's definitely pretty. It is not what I expected. I don't know why I thought it would be a little bit more of a maroon, burgundy type shade. And I did not think you would be able to see the shimmer is much but honey it is true to form as far as how it looks that's what you're gonna get on your lips <laughs> so if you're not into that type of you know shimmery look but like I said I can't feel the glitter at all it's just like a smooth comfortable lipstick very very nice does it smell like anything it has a nice scent to it. it smells a little bit sweet but nothing strong so this is what that looks like I think I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of my elf lip lacquer so it won't change the color at all it'll just add a little bit of shine Yep, just a little bit of shine. I like that. I feel very glittery today. <laughs> very glittery. So this is the final look today, you guys. Trying out all these different new products and stuff that I have not tried out before. I have to say, I'm very, very surprised at this BoxyCharm palette. I like it. I like the eye look that he created. If you're not into glitter and stuff like that, then this might not be your cup of tea because there is quite a few glittery shimmery shadows but you can also create a beautiful simple matte or neutral or basic eye look with it you know with just the brown or just the red or you know whatever plus it has this beautiful gold and also this beautiful turquoise that is not really glitter I don't believe but still very very pretty so I'm surprised at this palette I actually like it it's very nice um, everything else, the Folklore bronzer and blush, I'm feeling it. It really added some nice color and warmth to my face. The lipstick, very comfortable, very nice and smooth. I mean, being able to see as much glitter and shimmer in it is a very nice surprise. I was not expecting that. I truly thought it was just for decoration, but I think it looks nice. I don't think it's going to be everybody's cup of tea, but... Y'all know me. I'm cool with it. I like it. It's very pretty. Um, what else did I try? The Cody Airspun Powder. 
still not my favorite not really a fan I feel like it did kind of create more crepiness and creasing under my eyes than usual I don't have that nice smooth blurred out look that I like so yeah I don't know if I'll be using that anymore and what else the milk makeup primer I like it I like it a lot I think it created a nice base for my makeup I really enjoyed how it felt when I put it on because it was just a little bit tacky but not uncomfortable tacky and I do feel like my foundation which I used the Milani today it just it had a nice even base to adhere to so yeah I think for the most part I'm happy I mean the mascara I actually really like it it didn't do anything amazing which you know I have minimal lashes anyway but I think it did okay not too bad for drugstore mascara so that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me to try out these products and just kind of chill out while we're all kind of on quarantine <laughs> you know and praying for all of those affected and that have caught the virus I really really pray that they get a handle on this and that these people, if you have family members that have been affected, that they are healed and completely and come through and that it's not transmitted more than it needs to be. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!